If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, I'm going over Mutt Rewards, some new legends, and of course, the bow reveal that we did see from yesterday night. I'll be going over all that throughout the video, so make sure you guys stay tuned throughout the video. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys need coins, head down below to my coin sponsor. And if you guys want to check out my new DFS, partnership with underdog fantasy make sure to down below i have a link and a code for you guys if you do use my link and code you can get up to a hundred free dollars to actually use to enter some daily fantasy contests with and just really cool guys i recommend you check it out the link will be down below in the description but let's get into this so we have the mutt rewards all pro tier now i'm not a big pack guy so i typically haven't gotten to legend yeah usually it's a legend like the first few months i'll be there pretty soon but all pro tier let's see what we got going on here let's open these up for you guys i was gonna open them up separately but i figured let's save it for the video all pro fantasy pack now the legends did just go live so it is possible to pull them from here will i pull them from here the odds are so incredibly low probably i feel like mutt reward packs are usually dumbed down a little bit because they don't want you to actually have a chance of pulling literally anything out of this but you never know all right we got some gold we got a power up oh we got it we got a high legend here oh I, this is i pulled my first ltd ever uh, I just pulled LTD Jonathan Vilma out of a sec. Out of this. I just pulled the full 92 Kirk Cousins. Jonathan Vilma. You guys, I have. Okay, let, let me get this. Let me, let me make this clear. I have never in the history of Madden pulled a limited time before. I've been playing since Madden 12 ever madden 13 ultimate team madden 12 ultimate team for like a week madden 13 ultimate team that is almost 10 years that's like eight to nine years worth of not a single ltd point i just pulled ltd jonathan vilma out of all pro fantasy pack i'm always excited for these free packs because i want to go ahead and be like there's a chance right the one week i take an absolute dump on these packs i'm just i was just saying how they're trash and they dumb the odds down i pull ltd jonathan vilma out of these packs Check him out. He's got he's got 92 speed. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to wake up from the dream I'm in right now. I know I really just pulled trash. 92 speed, 91 excel, 89 strength, 93 tackle, 94 play rec, 94 block shedding, 95 hit power, 90, 71 zone. This car's pretty good. Great hit power, great block shedding, great play rec. You probably want to use him because of his zone, but he's good. Jonathan Vilma. Wow. I would prefer the Garen Blump, but trust me, I, I ain't picky here. And then I can go ahead and put Kirk Cousins into one of the sets and go ahead and get the Dion. Guys, things are looking up. Things are certainly looking up. Now, in terms of this, I guess I want to take Trevon Diggs here, right? Let's just make sure I have Vilma clicked. Kirk clicked. I need to just screenshot this because this is absolutely absurd. I cannot believe I just pulled an LTD out of this pack. Guys, make sure you open up your Mutt Rewards. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, so let's make sure we take the right guys. Imagine I didn't take him. Well, way to just give me the whole pack up front here. Okay, and that's supposed to be the best round. This was some absolute heat. Some absolute heat. Like, wow. Guys, get your Mutt Reward packs. Make sure you check them out. These things were heat for me. How much does Jonathan Vilma go for? Should I be selling that card right now? Like, what's, what's the deal with that? I should probably sell that card, right? And use it to buy the cards I do want here. Let's see. LTD. Man, it, I've never been able to say those words before. Let's see what we're rocking with. Uh, 550k. I imagine that I do want to sell him at some point. I'll maybe I'll give it some time. He's a middle linebacker, so I guess I just sell him, right? I'll figure it out after this video. But guys, so you saw Jonathan's Vilma stats, right? You, you saw those. Let's head on over to... Remember, make sure you guys are playing your Legend Solos as well. If you go ahead and play your Legend Solos, you will go ahead and get your free boss legend later in the year. So make sure you guys are doing that. We also have the Garrett Blunt to check out, which I'm actually... That, that Blunt card looks really really good he may be like a meta type back depending on some of the stats we do know that bo jackson's coming which i will go over in a second of course but we know bo jackson is coming so i mean it's kind of tough to get too excited about the blunt card but the blunt card looks really good so let's go check out legends here all right it's blunt up yet jonathan vilma's up uh blunt 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 blunt's gonna be expensive yeah he looks really really good 
Oh, I wish I would have pulled this one. Garrett Blunt. So, guys, he's 250 pounds, mind you, right? He's 93 speed, 94 excel, 85 agility, 93 carrying, 71 catching, 86 change of direction, 94 break tackle, 95 break tackle, 94 truck. Guys, he's going to be a downhill monster. 86 strength, 85 agility, 93 speed. He's, he's a downhill monster, 250 pounds, 6 feet tall. He's going to get 94 speed. Oh, he has 93 speed. Sorry, he's already LTD. 93 carrying, 94 stiff arm, 91 juke. He can still juke and stuff, 95 break tackle. He won't be like a left and right monster, but honestly, a next gen, no one really is a left and right kind of monster, right? It is what it is. I mean, this card's good. This card is really, really good. I like this card a lot. He's going to be a, he's probably a meta back, right? 250, you really just can't argue that 250 weight class. It's just another animal. Now, let's filter this out by the top halfbacks real quick. I do want to compare something. Now, I do wonder if Jonathan Vilma is going to be dropping in price as we go. Because I don't want to I don't want to miss out on selling him at this price. No, he, he should go up, right? Because he has an LTD. That is a little low regardless. So, let's filter out by halfbacks. Let's get out of the Garen. Oh, the Garen Blunt's going to be expensive. Wow. Let's filter out by halfbacks of this overall. I want to see where he kind of stacks up weight-wise and height-wise right now. So, we have the James Robinson. That definitely doesn't stack up, right? What, what is he looking like? 91 speed? No. So James Robinson's way heavier. I mean, no. James Robinson's way lighter, way slower. LeGarrette Blount takes him by a mile. Chase Edmonds just isn't going to compare. I think, yeah, I think LeGarrette Blount might be the best back in the game right now, though. If Bo Jackson does come out, he's going to be up there speed and athleticism-wise. But LeGarrette Blount, that's 250. Just There's no back that's 250 with 93 speed right now. Chase Edmonds has 93 speed, but no power like he has. I mean, Chase Edmonds is up there. I mean, he's good, but... I think LeGarrette Blunt takes the kick. I mean, I'd rather have that 250 weight than the speed, honestly. And he has the speed, which is just weird to think about, right? Well, guys, it's better for that. LTD pull. That's absolutely insane. We get a great pack overall. We got the Kirk Cousins. Which I'm going to have to go check out that set. We have Legend. And then, guys, if you didn't see the Bow Nose picture, I will show you in a second. They, uh, I think EA or whatever tweeted, like, the Bow Nose, which is pretty much Bow's coming. Now, Bow could be coming for a Legend. I don't think it's a Legend. It could be a Thanksgiving guy, which I don't think it's Thanksgiving. I think it's going to be a Blitzmaster. Possibly. That's kind of my assumption here. I see how much Kirk goes for. Kirk's going to go for a decent amount. 150. Okay. I, oh, guys, that was just a, that was a great pack. All around, one of my best packs ever. No, that was my best pack ever. Not all around that. That just was. How much is this guy going for still? I, I gotta I gotta clean out some of the stuff in the binder so I can go ahead and actually I wanna go pick up some of those new legends. I wanna go pick up LeGarrette Blunt. I mean I have enough more coins for it, but that's gonna be an expensive piece right there. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Let's go check out the screenshot. Those tweet that did come out. NFL PA, you know, NFL, EA Sports, Bo knows, Madden 22, number 34, Bo. Bo Jackson's coming out. Is this a surprise that we're getting a Bo Jackson? No. Cause be, I saw someone say, like, why are we surprised Bo's released every year? But the, the thing with that is is that Dion's released every year, and so is Michael Vick. Are we excited when they come out? Yes, because we don't know when they're going to come out, at what time, what overall threshold they're going to give us for them, right? Because, you know, you can get that, you can get Bo Jackson, he's an 88, and he's kind of just going to be okay because it's Bo Jackson at an 88, right? It's not going to last long. We're getting a Bo Jackson at a top tier point, but like the Bl like Blitz promo as the master. He could be really good for a while, especially with the way this game is. But I, I think I think Bo's good. He's gonna be good. I don't play well with Bo personally, but this is a different Madden. This is next year. We have to see how Bo plays. He's typically too bulky for me, but he's not like he doesn't have that crazy good weight either. But I'll have to see. He should be super athletic there. If he gets a blitz master, he probably gets a 94, 95 speed. Quite honestly. It really comes down to his weight and what they want to give him, like change of direction, spin move wise, juke move wise, catching. But Bo Jackson's always going to be a crazy muck card. But guys, it's better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the study bell. If you guys want to hit up my coin sponsors to get some coins for some of these new legends, head on down below. You guys will see the link down below. And, of course, if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy and you want to get up to a free 100 bucks to go ahead and use on some of your lineups, make sure to head on down below. Use my link and code, of course. If you don't use it, you won't get the free money. But, yeah, that's what it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.